Hey gang, well, 2020 is almost over with and I thought why not try to do at least one more little rant video for the year and uh, I'm really trying to wrap up a lot of things for this year. Uh, I'm trying to, uh, you know, there's a, I think one or, more, one or two more videos, well, okay, two more videos I'm going to try and do this week course uh, my weirdest incident video that'll be up on Thursday and tomorrow not 100% sure what I'm gonna do but uh, yeah it's it, it probably be some weird pickup story video a pickup video sorry <laughs> anyway but I want to talk to you guys about this past year and there's probably there's gonna be a lot of people probably talking about 2020 in their own ways whether on social media here on YouTube uh, whichever way you guys want to look at it, but I, but, uh, I wanted to do my own little version of, of the year 2020 and, and, uh, yeah, even though we're still a couple of more days before, before it ends, I, I don't think it really matters what happens in the next couple of days from, from today on till Thursday, but we have to face facts. Let's be honest here, folks. This was the year of the virus and, you know, cause there's, there's a lot of places, a lot of, you know, it seems like every year everybody always says, you know, like this is the year of this, this is the year of this, but this was the year of the virus. Let's let's be honest here, folks. I mean, a lot of crazy stuff happened this year, and I'll, I'll tell you the truth. Uh, for those of us who made it through this year and will still go on to see the new year, you know, we are relieved and grateful. But honestly. You know, it's 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 not fair that a lot of people that we loved and cared about deeply passed away this year, which <sighs> I mean, which annoyingly, every time somebody passed away, one of the first things people would ask was, was it the virus? And it's like, no. But somehow, some way, it snuck into people's deaths. I'm not, <laughs> I don't know how it ever happened. I mean... When, when my wonderful, beautiful wife, Sarah, told me that her father had passed away, I did not ask her, was it the virus? Because, number one, it would have been a stupid question to ask. And number two, I would know it wasn't, you know. The thing is, a lot of people, a lot of people who died this year did not necessarily die from that. But for some reason, the media wanted to throw in, you know, like, oh, and, you know, they, they died of this. Like, um like a, a pro wrestler named uh, Kamala, you know, he was a very entertaining guy. But, you know, the, the weird thing about it is, is that the first video, uh, the first video, the first report that came out said that he died of a heart, a heart attack, which I believed it because it was like, well, the guy's about what, almost 70 years old. He had diabetes, but he died from a heart attack. And then all of a sudden they changed up to, but it was also the coronavirus. And I'm going, are you serious? It's like, make up your minds, folks, you know. That, that's why I just don't really trust the media because, you know, because so many celebrities passed away and, you know, a lot of our friends and family members passed away this year. But it was, but somehow, some way, it was connected to that stupid virus. And you know something, as far as two, two, 2020 goes, it sucked, okay? Let's, let's be really, really honest here. It completely, utterly freaking sucked, okay? Um, and, um, and I'm, I'm not going to sit here and talk about, you know, like, well, it, it sucked because, you know, because Trump isn't president anymore. I don't care about that. You know, I mean, there was a lot of things that happened this year that was just God awful that I can just say had nothing to do with that stupid virus. You know, um, a lot of terrible, horrible things happen all over the world. And, and I kind of, and, and you know, a lot of a lot of horrible things happen. A lot of horrible things that happened around here too. You know, but ultimately, you know, we have to only hope and pray that 2021 is going to get better. Do I believe it's going to start better? I don't know. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes the new year will will start off with another celebrity death, and and then everybody sits there and goes, "Well, that's the end of that right there." Um, you know, I, I don't believe that, the, that any new year can start off good, 
because you have to just you just have to just try to do the best you can you know don't let a celebrity death get you down because you know new year's day happens around and everybody's getting up everybody's having a good time turn on the news and then what happens some celebrity dies i can't feel sad about that because i don't sit there and go well the rest of the year is going to suck it doesn't have to suck personally for us i mean if if a celebrity dies it's sad, but you got to get on with your life. You know, you got to try to get everything done in your life. You got to go to work. You got to uh, take care of your family. You got to get all kinds of things done. You can't just be sitting around going like, oh, that sucks. So and so passed away. You know, I mean, they're already saying that 2021 there's going to be the vaccine for the virus. Well, that's great. That's fantastic. But, but I mean, is it is it really going to do any good? I mean, I don't trust, I don't trust the, anybody in the medical facility because they can sit there and say, "Well, the vaccine is going to do this." It, you know, get them with the vaccine, everything's cool. But how do we not know there's going to be side effects? And I look at it this way: if they sit there and say you can either take the shot or continue wearing a mask in public, I'll wear a mask, no problem, okay? Because I just don't trust doctors and their whole thing about you know, like. Like, well, you take the shot, everything will be fine. I mean, how are you supposed to know if anybody if anybody takes it? I mean, I mean, around here you got a lot of people take meth. So, <laughs> you know, it's like you want to you want to check the trackings on their arms, make sure you know, like, like mm, you took eight shots of the vaccine, you should be cured by now. What vaccine? So, and the other thing to look forward to, <clears throat> pardon me, in uh, 2021. For some people out there is the inauguration of a brand new president, which, again, this, this was something else. This was, this was a year that, let's just face it, everybody's mad and upset. Well, not everybody. I mean, Trump supporters are mad and upset that, you know, he's not going to be president again. And you guys know me. I'm not a political guy. I'm not somebody who uh, follows politics, believes in politicians or anything like that, but but let's be really let's be realistic here. Biden was going to get this because number one, most people will vote in a vice president, and two, Trump sucked. Okay, so I said it. You don't like it? That's fine. That's your opinion. That's your feeling. That's okay. That's cool. But but yeah, I mean, it. 2020 sucked. That's all I can say about it. 2021. Who knows where where it's going to go? What it's going to do? But folks, I'm only going to hope and pray that. Uh, 2021 will be the year I will be home with my wonderful, beautiful wife, Sarah. And it's going to be a year that hopefully we're all going to see each other again by New Year's Eve of 2021. And, uh, you know, but ultimately, I just say stop being afraid. Stop being worried about, uh, you know, what, you know, what's going to happen to certain people. You know, I mean... The, the stupidest thing about it all is, is that I'm, I'm waiting for somebody to sit there and say, report that, you know, so-and-so died in a car accident due to the coronavirus. Okay. She's <laughs> like, come on, stop this nonsense. I'm really waiting for somebody to sit there and just go one minute. It's like family of four murdered in their sleep in their house. They believe the killer was, was wearing a ski mask, black leather jacket, black shirt, blue jeans. And, oh, wait, no, it was a coronavirus, <laughs> okay? Look, folks, 2021, we got to get it off to a much better start. Some of us are not looking forward to Biden being the president, but like I said, I couldn't care less because I don't think the, I don't think the country's going to get in any better shape. And hopefully this virus nightmare is going to end before 2021 ends. So all I can say is, guys, for those of you who believe Keep praying, keep hoping for better days to happen very, very soon, and uh, just hang in there, and uh, just let's just hope that everything's going to be all right, everything's going to be cool, and everything's going to be a whole lot better in 2021. And I'm going to keep uploading videos as often as I can, as much as I can throughout the new year too. So uh, I'm going to wrap this bad boy on up. Uh, if you want to, leave your thoughts down below about what you think about how 2020 was. How did it affect you? I'd love to hear from you guys down there in the comments below and uh and you know of course if you like my videos if you like my videos in 2020 
if you haven't subscribed yet, please feel free to subscribe. And um, if you don't like my videos, that's okay too. That's all right. I can't. Hey, I can't appeal to everybody. So I'm gonna get on out of here, gang. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care of yourselves. Try to be good. Try to be good to yourself. Try to be good to others. And uh, let's stop trying to destroy the world. Let's uh, pray this virus nightmare is gonna end very, very soon. And let's help out the people who really, really need it right now. So I'm gonna see you guys next time. Till we do this again, as always, stay strong, rock on, and let's pray for a better year.